Hello everyone, um, it's Brad here from Play Bradley Play, and um, I'm going to be the one millionth person to show you how to get optimum settings for your Hopog HD PVR. Um, as you can see, if you have the um, Hopog, this is the software Total Media Extreme that comes with it. Um, I'm just going to walk you through the settings real fast. Obviously, video input. If you have a Hopog and you spent $180 on it, you're probably going to be using Component. Um, audio input, RCA back. It's pretty much your only option. Uh, two channel stereo, unless you are using a surround sound system. Device settings, you don't have to mess with. Uh, I mean, you can. It's preference. But, I don't There's you can all do that in post production which we'll cover as well format settings is probably going to be your important thing um, as you can see um, the Wii will only go up to 480p so that's why we will be doing upscaling in Vegas um, so that you can't really help that you're going to want your bitrate to be as high as it can if you don't have a computer that can handle 13.5 Mbps, you're probably out of luck. Um, okay, variable bitrate versus constant bitrate. People have some discussion on what's better. Since we are setting our target bitrate here, technically, constant bitrate works perfectly fine. If you know that it'll run smoothly, there's no need really to do variable bitrate but variable will allocate fewer um, pieces to the parts of your video that change less so um, it's it's up to you it'll calculate it usually does a pretty good job at um, when to assign um, high bitrate and when to not uh, it's it's some people like variable better some people like constant I'm using a variable right now, but I've experimented with both and I've had good results with both. The rest of it should be okay. This um, low pass filters. Uh, if you're doing some heavy HD, using zero can help you a little bit, but um, that's that. Um, you're you're gonna want to do PS3, which is MT2S, as you can see down here. Um, it does the best encoding job. AVCHD is TS. Xbox 360 is an MP4. All of them are good, but MT2S is uh, preferable for use with Vegas, which is what we will be covering. After that. Um, capture and stop it's pretty straightforward and you have your video so then we're going to jump over to Vegas um, when you record your video I always and I don't know really if this everyone does this but um, all my videos have this black box around them and that really annoys me as you can see it's like a black box so um, that's chiefly what I'm going to be using Vegas for. Whatever else you want to do in post-editing, um, take care of here. Our property settings, when you open Vegas, you'll get this. This is what um, the video is going to look like, pretty much your settings for converting it. Um, I start off with the this template HDV 72030p because it's almost exactly what we're looking for we're just going to raise this up to 59.94 um, it's in the 32 bit floating point full range already uh, de interlace method none um, those are the key points everything else all the other tabs are fine um, fairly certain um, so save a new template so you don't have to mess with it every time with the, all of these settings um, then yeah um, 
getting rid of the black box here are a few things to touch on properties um, untick maintain aspect ratio or else it's not gonna cooperate very well in video event pan and crop so you get here and um, you can freely adjust it if you want but if you're going to be doing a lot of videos a lot you're gonna want it to be exactly the same every time so I made note of these dimensions which are going to give you uh, almost as close as possible for what we're doing so we're gonna have 684 4, 456 365 and 239 and then as you can see it's very close there's maybe a pixel off here and um, you can mess with that if you want to do something different have your own measurements but um, it's pretty cool to save whoops, to save uh, dimensions so that you can remember the numbers I mean, if you can remember them in your head that's even more awesome but I don't have that ability so anyway bring Vegas back up have the dimensions and surprise no more black box and it looks great so that's pretty much all you really need to do um, I like to do a little bit of color correction that's up to you depending on uh, if you're recording something really dark or whatever but my TV has really bright colors that I'm used to so I made it this template that um, as you can see it's gonna bring things up quite a bit make it a little bit brighter um, just for a little side-by-side -side comparison it just uh, brings up the contrast a lot and I think it makes it look a lot a lot better crisper um, those are 0 0.05 0 0.2 and 0.35 but that's up to you as well um, that's pretty much all we need to do. We need to mess with the render settings a little bit. Again, the template that I use, I do WMV. Um, other good ones to use are main concept, AVC, AAC, MP4s. Um, if you want huge lossless files, then AVI is good. But um, for mine, since I'm, I use WMV, I'm going to take you through that. Uh, I based my template off of 6 Mbps HD 72030p video. All I really did was audio is fine, video is going to go and leave that. And um, once again, boost this up to 59.94. And video smoothness is going to want to be at 100. Yeah, so just those two things really is all you need to do. And I saved the template as 6 MVPS 72060p video. And you can name it whatever, obviously. So then just save that, let it render, and you will get an upscaled version of the 480p video that you recorded with your Hopog. And it looks pretty nice. Check it out.
Well, that's that uh, for the tutorial. I hope you liked the little demo, and um, if you have any questions, comments, advice, um, leave it in the comments section, and um, I'll reply to you. Comment, rate, and subscribe, because in the future we will have many more videos recorded in 720p for the Wii. Um, thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.